this is amazing now we are going to create a financial agent application which is capable of checking the stock price getting the latest news getting the detailed financial report and getting a historic price of a company we are going to do this using lang graph mainly focusing on beginners in this first we are going to create tools then we are going to assign those tool to an agent then we are going to create a graph which coordinates the work between agent and tools finally we are going to add an user interface using radio that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about financial agent app using lang graph i'm going to take you through step by step on how to create this and add a user interface to that but before that i've regularly created videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you so first step conda create hyphen and lang graph python equals 3.11 and then click enter next conda activate lang graph and then click enter if you haven't installed conda in your computer you should be able to download from this website next export your open ai api key like this and then click enter next export your polygon api key like this and then click enter polygon is the api service which we are going to use which is capable of getting all the financial information latest news and then stock price about a company you should be able to sign up to polygon for free and then get your api keys from here so once after you enter the api key click enter now pip install langgraph langchain langchain openai langchain hub polygon api client and then click enter now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it as we've seen before we are going to follow three steps first to create tools next creating agent and third graph that is the pipeline or the workflow so first step defining tools our agents can use so we are importing the required package like os hub create open ai function agent chat open ai polygon api wrapper then the four polygon tools now we are setting up the prompt template we are using langchain hub so you should be able to see the prompt in this location and here is the prompt in langchain hub so it's just a basic template with a system message human input is input now we are going to define the large language model that is gpt4 turbo preview next we are defining the polygon api wrapper to get the list of tools and then we are assigning the tools so four different tools in the list format so this tool is capable of getting the stock price latest news financial report and historic price now step number 2 is creating defining agent and helper functions importing runnable pass through agent finish now we are defining the agent so this is where the agent gets created using this create open ai function agent we are passing the large language model the list of tools and the prompt which we already configured in the first step very simple as that next agent equals runnable pass through and assign so we are assigning that agent to agent outcome that means the output of the agent is assigned to agent outcome now we are going to define the function to execute tools so execute tools function is same like function calling so if the large language model think that it requires a tool to perform a task for example if it wants to get the latest stock price the large language model won't have the information of the latest stock price so it is going to use the tool which we have assigned before so if the user ask a question what's the stock price of apple to the ai agent then the ai agent will be using the financial tools which we have assigned then the tool or the api is able to get the latest stock price and then the response is sent to the ai agent again at the end we'll get an answer like this so that's exactly happening here so this gets the output from the large language model get the stock price and return the real time stock price value now we're going to define the logic so here we are defining a condition if the agent outcome is agent finish then it should stop running if the agent outcome is to use the tool then it should continue this is called conditional edge in lang graph now the final step is to define the lang graph here we are importing end and graph next we are defining the workflow that is the graph next adding the node node is nothing but a ai agent or a tool similarly we are going to add tools and the execute tools function next we are setting an entry point where it should start so the first step is that the user is going to ask the agent so that's the entry point next we are adding a conditional logic so this is where we are going to use this should continue function so probably this should come under the define the lang graph step so this should continue is the condition which allows the agent 
to continue with the tools or end the process. Next, we are going to create edge using add edge. That means whenever a request comes to the tools, the output should be sent to agent. Next, we are going to define the chain workflow.compile, just compiling the whole graph. The final step result equals chain.invoke function. So this is the place where we are going to ask a question. So what has been A, B and B's daily closing price between March 7, 2024 and March 14, 2024? Now output equals agent outcome dot return values output. Finally, we are printing the output. That's it. So as a quick overview, first we set up the four tools. In the second step, we created agent and a function to execute the tool. The third step, defining the land graph, the condition when an agent should pass the request to a tool or exit. Here we are defining all the workflow, adding nodes, adding entry point, and finally we are invoking the chain and asking a question. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal python app.py and then click enter. So this is going to get the A, B and B's daily closing price between the date range. And here is the answer. It used the tool, which is a Polygon API and got these answers. Now let's add user interface to this. I made a slight modification. To create a user interface, I just imported Gradio, then moved the result and the output inside a function called financial agent. This is going to get the input, process the request and return the output. And adding one input and one output inside gr.interface. Finally, interface.launch. This will automatically create the user interface for us. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python ui.py. Now I'm going to open this URL and here is the interface. So first I'm going to ask what's the latest financial report for NVIDIA and click submit. And here is the output. Comprehensive income, balance sheet highlights, income statement highlights, cash flow statement highlights. Similarly, I asked, can you show me the most recent news from Google? And it used the tool or the API and got this answer. Next, I asked, track the historical performance of Microsoft. And it went through different years and got the historical data. Then I asked, what has been A, B and B's daily closing price between these dates? And it gave me this answer. I'm really excited about this. I'll provide all the code in the description below. So you can try and let me know in the comments below how it is. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.